Hi, it's Mark Owen from Moose, marketing and PR, the editor of Punchline Magazine. Welcome to Punchline Talks. Today, I'm joined by Joe Baker, who's the owner of the Meadow Cafe in Cheltenham. And oh my goodness, it looks absolutely wonderful. I'll be honest with you, I've never been there before, but having a look at the photographs, I definitely want to go there. Good morning, Joe. Morning. Well, I believe that, that you didn't always own the cafe. You used to work for a design agency or, a, or an architect's practice in Gloucester. What made you open the, the Meadow Cafe? Well, it's this toilet block on Cox's Meadow in Cheltenham that I've seen for many, many years. And I used to walk past thinking, oh, that would make a great cafe. And then about five years ago, somebody took it on and it was a cafe. And I walked my dog in the Cox's Meadow and never seemed to be open. And, and I thought, oh, that's a real shame. Thought that would make a really good cafe. And then suddenly, saw it was for sale and I mean my background was hospitality way back when I went to college and did all that in my early years and uh, in my 20s and so I think it's always something that's in your blood hospitality so I just saw the opportunity and uh, went for it and that was three years ago. And what's lockdown been for you? I would assume that actually you wouldn't have done too bad. Well it, we are very blessed I mean we were we were getting busier and busier, you know, as the business grew anyway. And um, then when we we closed, obviously with everybody else in March, and then we noticed that the meadow was getting a lot busier with people walking, people allowed out on their daily exercise, and people were saying, you know, why don't you why don't you open? I don't know why you're not open. And so the police were coming by and I said, can I open? And they said, yeah, as long as you do it properly, you can open. And I was thinking, well, coffee and cake is not exactly essential, but yeah, okay, we'll open. <laughs> and, uh, and we opened and it was phenomenal. The summer we had was great. And we, we were lucky because we had a, like a one-way system. So um, we had two doors in and out. People could safely queue because there was just so much space. And then we got some tables built around and it, you know for when people could sit down and and it's just really built from there and now people are walking again and it's it's, it's, quite, it's, it's, it's quite a funny thing you know because I talk to lots of different business people and um it's great that you've done well but there always seems to be a little bit of I don't like to say how yeah. well I've done in a global pandemic I feel yeah. so guilty that yeah, I'm doing fair. okay but it's hard work let's be honest you've got to put a lot of graft and yeah, and in some ways before the early days, it looked quite dangerous. Yeah, it, it didn't sit well with me at the beginning. I, you know, I really didn't feel comfortable that I, I you know, we were doing so well. But um, yes, it was hard work. But we, you know, we were we were really supported with, the, you know, the government with the furlough scheme. We used that for all my staff because we had to limit the number of staff on shift and that kind of stuff. So. Um, it was it was hard, um, but then people were thankful for us being open, and they were saying, "No, don't be, you know, don't feel bad, don't feel guilty." So the more people enjoyed it and were happy to come, and uh, it, it, it's it's okay, it, we're fine now. <laughs> You've also got another cafe, uh, the Urban Cafe, the yeah. Urban Meadow, shall I say? Whereabouts is that? Yeah, and so did that open. Yeah, that's so. I have I have the meadow in, in Cheltenham, which which is really successful and, and open all the time. And then on the other hand, we took this over last January, so not a brilliant time to take over a hospitality business. We we were open for a couple of months, then closed. Then we were open again, and then closed because that's sitting in with no outside space. So that's the urban meadow. So we've, we're trying to bring bagels and coffee from the meadow, what we do into town. So we're, we're gearing up for a reopening for that on Monday and uh, we're excited. Then just to dust off, you know, make it all hum, you know, buzz again. And, and people will be in town obviously because the shops are gonna be open. So hopefully that will uh, give that a little bit of a boost. What's the best selling product that you've got? What's the most people come in and ask you guys for? Well, coffee, we look at this every day, what the best selling product is. And uh, it's gonna be latte every time. That's your, your latte. But on the food wise, uh, we do bagels. We do bagels, which an, an array of bagels, a choice of six or seven bagels. Uh, bacon and avocado bagel is a huge big seller for us. And uh, bacon sandwich, a really great bacon sandwich. 
I'm really looking forward to it. Um, the, you, you guys have been involved with, with TURF, the organisation set up to help each other and support each other. What has yeah. that meant for you oh, as a business person? This, this was fantastic. So we were approached by Packway very early on, you know, one of the founders of, of the TURF. And he, because him and his wife use our cafe, they walk their dog in Cox's Meadow. And he said, look, you know, come on board with this. And it's just grown from then. And every day there's chats going on and we have Zoom calls and it's just really been such a support mechanism, I think, for everybody to come together. And then when it was Rob's idea to do the very, very first, it's really given us all something to really work towards and uh, and focus in on and and it's great it's good fun and great bunch of people and somebody's put a shout out this morning they need a handyman somebody needs to borrow a table or whatever you know it's great so it's real community and it's building all the time getting new members too which is really good i think it's absolutely fantastic yeah and, um yeah it's really 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 exciting initiative and i can just see why can't other towns and other cities all support each other not see each other as competition, yeah. but see, yeah. see each other as a, as, a, as a place where you can get help, advice, uh, because we're all learning, aren't we? We're always, always learning in business. We are, we are. And, you know, there's enough trade in the town for it all to go around. You know, there's no sense of competitiveness at all within the group. It's, and, you know, there are other coffee shops, there are lots of coffee shops uh, and lots of restaurants, but, you know, we all offer something different. And also the consumer wants to go to different places and have different things so it's yeah it's really it's really positive and uh, i'm sure you know from the very very first campaign that we're running i'm sure that will be picked up by other um locations you know other areas like gloucester maybe in sirencester and people think well you know we could do something like that now you're running this auction at the moment your auction has already gone i believe but you for the urban meadow you've got a, a prize can you just explain to me about we that have- what that is please we have so at the urban meadow we have um we're very lucky because we have a yoga studio on our first floor which is run by my daughter so it's a bit of a family affair so we've offered our very very first is a private yoga brunch for six so six people can come together covid safe and have their yoga their private yoga class in the beautiful bloom studio and then they will come downstairs and have their COVID free, COVID uh, aware lunch, brunch with uh, bagels and uh, good coffee and that kind of stuff. So that's that's on, that's our uh, urban meadow aut- uh, bid, auction meadow, auction um, lot. Great stuff. Well, really nice to talk to you today, Joe. All the very best for Monday and hopefully I'll be visiting you very soon. Great. Thank Cheerio. you. Bye.